Okay, I'm going to try and do this without screwing up. So I have my sweet potatoes. Had some issues getting this done sooner. This is tilted so I can wash away the sand from where I'm going to try and detach it without dislodging the entire thing. Let's see if I can actually get a look at this. See how it has roots? These are actually attached directly to the slips. And what I am going to attempt to do with one hand is just pour away or wash away some of the sand so I can get in here, see what I'm doing, and figure out where in the world this thing is attached to the potato. Oh, okay, I, it comes around. So it's actually attached over here. So I should be able to just kind of pop this off. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I've just done what I didn't want to do, which was dislodge the entire potato. <laughs> but there is a rooted slip. So I'm going to pop that there for a second. That one, uh, that one can probably hang out for a little bit longer. There's another one. I can't do this with with my current ham-fisted approach. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this into a pot and uh, here in a couple days hopefully I will be able to show that it's growing, but this is just, this is playground sand. That way I'm not sticking these in water and waiting for them to start growing. I should be able to separate these, but I can't do it with one hand. And I can't find my little tripod stand thing, so. Anyway, here is the sweet potatoes in sand so far. And I should have done this like a week ago, but anyway. 